Hello there, this is Ben Fournier, Benevolent Side of Quorum. Uh, sorry, I watched the intro on my own and it doesn't seem to restart. So, oh well, the backgrounds, the guy is um, the son of some fancy dude who was the first born in space and unfortunately didn't sound as weird as like the Heinlein novel with a similar thing, but oh well. Here's this though. Let's see what it goes as. Marcus Cromwell, Captain's Log. 0309 2111. We have left Earth Sector. Our destination is Jupiter. We face a journey of almost eight months. On the way, we're picking up two Space Tech cargo ships. They're waiting in orbit around the moon. I have been assigned as the leader of the convoy. 0509-2111. The two cargo ships have joined us. Their crews are minimal, but the two captains could talk the rivets out of a bulkhead. It's going to be a long eight months. Fortunately, the Stiletto's 12th sister ship, the ISF Hawking, will be joining us. It's sailing under the ISA flag, but the captain, Francis DeLorean, is an old friend of mine. Can you travel in time? 0712-2111. I joined the firm three years ago. So much has happened since then. The Mars quarantine, the Ceres crisis. I wonder if this mission will be remembered as the Jupiter Incident. Of doom. Very expensive. 2312-2111. Like an early Christmas gift, the Hawking finally arrived, two days behind schedule. Francis hasn't changed. It's good to see the old man again. Very expansive oh, light. 402 2112. It seems I was tempting fate. This mission may yet be known as the Jupiter Incident. Space Tech's spy satellites are broadcasting some alarming pictures. The Kasaki Syndicate's recent activities have generated a lot of attention. I suspect it's no accident that Francis is on his way there. It's reassuring to have the ISA on our side. O one o three twenty one twelve. The final briefing has arrived. Mission template: reconnaissance, espionage. The Kisaki Syndicate's technological prowess has the mega corporations running scared. According to our intelligence, the source of their revolutionary advances is the Shokenja Research Station in Jupiter Sector. Our task is going to involve surveillance of the station. It may even extend to sabotage or a hostile incursion, if those are our orders. Every corporation in existence would love to pry into the Syndicate's research data. The situation is tense. A confrontation is almost inevitable. 2004-2112. We have arrived at Jupiter Sector and will soon reach Europa. The convoy is heading towards the twin stations Sunflower and Michelangelo. We're receiving a code red from the base. It entails the highest level of corporate security measures. They don't skimp on interest, do they? Oh well. Yeah, it is interesting, the ship designs having thrusters in the front for some of them. Presumably uh, the combat ones, while well, the transports have their cargo all in front, rather than being like... I don't know, something like a hammerhead with thrusters on each side and having the cargo drag so it's like more stable. I suppose you could probably stabilize it with like gyroscopes or something. Oh joy, a blank screen that I might need to trim out. Europa, Michelangelo, Sunflower, Space Tech, t Twin Stations of Doom. Are they fighting each other? Or what's this? Oh no, that's a thrusting thing. Well, they don't have much cosine loss. I guess that's good for them. Although the plume turns with the ship rather than the exhaust being its own thing. So, oh well. Ah, uh, sort of it angles a little bit, but it seems like it's turning with the ship. Oh great, is it gonna crash? Michelangelo Station hailing convoy TTC 24-7. You have reached the arrival zone. Welcome to Jupiter Sector. Thank you, Michelangelo. Convoy dismissed. I'm handing the ships over to you. I can't believe I'm speaking with the Captain Cromwell. They're all talking about you back at the station, sir. It's not often we get celebrities out here. Did you have a pleasant flight? Pleasant? That's not the word I'd use. The most exciting thing to happen in eight months was the toilet backing up. Oh, extra grumpy celebrity. It's okay, he's a celebrity though. Right. 
the spaceships and objects under the player's command are listed to the left. So we have Stiletto, which is some kind of cruiser or corvette or some crap. Okay, so that's what we have here. And what is all this stuff then? It'll probably tell us next. Enemy and neutral units list. All the objects the player cannot control are listed on the right. These may be neutral or hostile ships, space stations, navigation points, platforms, etc. Friendly units are separated from enemy units. Or else they become extra crispy. Gotta keep them separated. Not a shocking. And... And known objects. Okay. You can read information about the selected hostile or neutral object on the top right of the screen. Okay. So, Gemini fighter, and repair station, medium size uh, supply and service station without high capacity, space dock system, what? and it's over yonder, what the heck is that? Name OSF, dangerous distance. 13247 meters or kilometers? Probably meters. It looks like it's probably only 13k away. And that's the St. Mike thing. Right. So, what is all this? Or is it just fighters or something that we see? Uh, oh well. So, there's that. You can read information about the selected hostile. Yeah, we saw that. Okay. By clicking on the I sign, you can check the mission objectives and reread the dialogue. So the tutorial, so information. I for info panel. Arrival to Jupiter. Objectives. Message log. So here's fan lady. And tutorial information panel. Target info. In own units list. Something. Okay. Pause game. You can pause the game with the space key. Space key helps to conquer space. Dun dun dun. Okay. I have transmitted the coordinates to each of the ships. Please stand by in the designated navigation area. Stay clear of the asteroids. We're on a level two alert. Minefields are active. I repeat, minefields are active. If you Michelangelo, we've got a code red. Yes, Captain, I know. We had an accident a few days ago that left four people dead, so the check-in protocols have been stepped up. The Sunflower is ready to receive you. Camera focus. If you left-click any object except small ships in the target list on the right, left-click... Uh, the camera turns in that direction. Okay. Using the camera, follow-up camera, double-clicking any object makes the camera jump to it and follow it. However, this camera can only be linked to already explored objects. If you double-click an empty part of space, the camera is released. So, there's the Station of Insanity. Yeah, pretty cool looking little thing. And there's my ship right now, that's... What? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so there's a huge ship in between that's called the Whale. So that one there, that's a transport ship, right? Okay. And double click and empty power space, the cameras release. Okay, well, that should be a zoom. You can zoom in or out. Yes. Here we go. Yeah, pretty cool having rotating sections. Although, when you're under thrust, that's going to be a little bit of a pain. You'll have gravity both out and, you know, down. Down is out, kind of spin gravity, plus gravity to whichever vector is accelerated. So I'd suppose you would be in some kind of cushioned couch when you're under thrust or in combat. Something like that, or have it where the floors and walls are interchangeable in a way. Something like that. But yeah, this would probably be good for long distance coasting at least. Although, there's going to be some maintenance for the gears or bearings or whatever would be allowing it to rotate like that. And have some kind of... 
I don't know how you would get it to not rotate as a whole, and why you wouldn't. Like, that just seems like it's wasting parts to rotate separately from the ship, but whatever though. It does look sort of like an uh, Earth Force ship from B5 a little bit, with how they did a similar thing. Uh, anyway, onward to this zoom, yada yada. So moving both mouse buttons forward and backward, there we go. Not quite as uh, camera rotation. You may rotate the camera by holding the right mouse button. If the camera is linked to the object, then it starts circling around uh, the given object. Okay. And we are supposed Talking to Stiletto. We're leaving the convoy and continuing our voyage to the ISA base. It's been a pleasure traveling with you, Marcus. Dock with us next time you're in the neighborhood. I'll be more than happy to give you a rematch. Maybe by then you'll have exhausted the last of your lucky streak. I might just like take you up on that, Francis. Don't get your hopes up about the rematch, though. Strategos is all about strength of tactics. Luck doesn't come into it. There he goes. <laughs> we shall see, Captain. Until next time, Hawking out. Goodbye, Hawking. Way to Stiletto. Thanks for the escort, Captain. Traveling with you was truly an honor. May our paths cross again soon. May the road rise Stiletto, to meet approach you. the designated nav point. Okay, the list of commands that can be issued to this ship can be found at the bottom of the screen. Nice to know that my writing isn't the worst in the world. This can be a thing. It can be. Mostly. Anyway. To issue a command. Or a command. It's whatever. Choose your ship. Then click the command. Then right click the target. I'm going to have to read that again. To issue a command. Choose your ship. Then click the command. Then right click the target. So that would be the move thing. Approach. And right click presumably that or do we have to follow this? Dangerous. Understood. And now we're under thrust. Hopefully we won't have to stop suddenly because I'm going too close to mines. That would suck. Now approach navigation point. Or wait, is there a navigation point there? Okay. Affirmative. That's the nav point. Not directly to the station, but through the nav point. Or is this the first nav point we're supposed to... Oh, that's the ship. Okay, that's the nav point. Choose a, your ship, then do that. Some commands can only target hostile or friendly units. Some commands do not need a target. The selected command button is lit. Issue... The issued command button is... Blinking the unavailable command buttons are grayed out, so they're extra gray. Okay, and we're going here, aye, aye, sir. and then to there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I tried doing shift to see if that would allow for like. So here's the nav point. Let's get to it first. Um, I think using shift would allow that. But, oh well. Uh, the spaceships avoid obstacles automatically. A collision cannot occur. That's good. So directly here now. Understood. That is cool how this is rendered and it's not crashing my computer somehow. That's actually rather amazing. This looks quite beautiful. And this is Mars or... I don't know what planet is that. Is it Mars? It's hard to tell through that, but uh, Mars doesn't have this much debris around it. I didn't see which planet it's over, but uh, either way, this looks quite lovely. I, I wouldn't want to navigate through this asteroid field, that's for sure, if there were a thing. Okay, this looks like Jupiter. That looks like it's probably a moon of Jupiter, right? Uh, of course, this is the Jupiter incident, so what would that even be, though? I guess we're out in Jupiter's rings, which are very, very thin, but you know, not able to be seen like Saturn's, but uh, not really, unless you, like, you're really looking for them. Okay. 
about two kilometers away, 1.8. That's presumably meters. This does give a sense of flying through space, even though, like, I think maneuvering takes uh, forever and a day for most things. But this would be... Okay, good for that. Reach the designated waypoint. Alrighty. Affirmative. Unit report. Stiletto, you're heading towards the minefield. Turn back. I repeat, the minefield is active. Turn back towards the Michelangelo. Understood. Yeah, let's go right toward the Michelangelo. Can we? Or was that just a scripted thing? Come on. We are just rotating about it. Alright, is there a particular thing that we're supposed to do to get it to dock? Defensive behavior, stealth behavior, focus behavior. Ah, joy. Can we do anything here? Well, I am not seeing what we're supposed to do. Controlling... Okay, well... Can we just dock already? There's nothing here that's telling me what to do that I noticed. Sounds like the sound bite from Understood. Red Alert. Come on. Are we supposed to dock or what are we? <sighs> How do we dock? D? Come on. Oh joy. Come on. Where's the stupid thing? Tutorials. Objectives, reach the designated waypoint. Where is this waypoint? Where's your waypoint? Do we have another one here that we're supposed to do? Is that the nav? We're supposed to go there first. Affirmative. Oh, there first. Okay, so we're supposed to go all the way over here, even though we made it through their minefield, and our closer than that. Right? Is that the ordeal? Because that's just the pathway that we're supposed to go. Alrighty then. It's like, gotta avoid the mines. The mines! Good grief. Weapon platform of doom. Okay. Task complete. Oh, there's the ship. Snail. Sir, the Sunflower fighters have arrived. Oh, good. So that was the thing. Look out for that. Sunflower patrol there. calling Stiletto. Do you read us? Please confirm. Encoding OK. We are receiving your patrol. Attention Stiletto. The minefield protecting the Sunflower is active. We are escorting you in. Copy that Stiletto. Or you could turn the minefield off if you really needed to. Copy that patrol. You can start off now. We're going to catch up. It's like you pr probably could see anything there. Reach the Sunflower base. OK. Sunflower base. Where are you? Alright, do we have any problems with getting there? Like, is, is there another bunch of waypoints that we have to follow? Or do we just go for it? Aye, aye, sir. I guess we just go for it. Maybe I should save. Now, yeah, let's see here. Save game. Ah, before extra crispy via mines. Oh well. There we go. Whatever. Oh, good grief. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. And where's my ship? Right click to watch it go crispy. Are you going to go? It looks like we're not under thrust yet. Oh, we are. 
it's just a matter of angling first, right? Let's see, do we have like little thrusters for maneuvering or is it gyroscopes on board that would turn the ship? But you have this obviously that could probably if you have this. Stiletto, so hold your position. We have reached the minefield. Hold position. F3. Affirmative. In position. Alright, the ship. F3. F3 is the thing. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Stop the ship now. I did that. Alright. And. Wait here until the sunflower deactivates the mines. Oh, nice. You're actually doing that. Awesome. No crispy ship. That's a good thing. Making the activation completed. You may head for the sunflower now. Aye aye, sir. Stiletto. Copy that patrol. Boy, oh boy, what a day to be on patrol. The company has built at least 50 stiletto class vessels. And this was the first. It's like the big granddaddy of them all. <laughs> You're a pilot's pilot. Have you ever served on a stiletto class corvette? No, sir. We only have two light corvettes in the sector. Huh, Captain? Sir, aren't you the Marcus Cromwell? Feel free to come over when you're through with your duties. I'll have someone show you around. Like, Thank no, you, sir. I'm not I'll do that, sir. Uh, sir, may I invite you for a drink in the canteen? I'd be honored to meet the great Marcus Cromwell in person. I mean, Marcus if you have time, Cromwell. sir. I'm Winston that Churchill. is, I don't mean to impose, sir. It's just... With pleasure. I started as a fighter pilot myself. Do we also get to meet Lord Nelson? Do we have battles against the Space French or something? Come on, come on. I am the Space French. Dun dun dun. Oh well, let's keep going. Stiletto! One of the mines didn't activate properly. I've marked it for you. Get the hell out of there! In position. Uh, Joy. In position. Click the runaway command, then right click target you want to run away from F4 right click F4 right Understood. click all right I managed to deactivate it crisis averted you can continue to the base be cool people oh we have a space American now cool affirmative you need to read the forward thing Thanks, sir. Please be shocking. Anything behind the ship would be extra crispy, though. Like, oh, well, that fighter pilot's now not meeting anyone anywhere now. Well, except for his final destination. No roller coasters, though. That's a good thing. I don't really like roller coasters. I don't hate them, but it's also like... The only time I've been on them is like when I've been nagged by others to try them out and it's like okay this is a thing all right here's hoping it is actually maintained and not like the letter calling sunflower place. thanks for warning us what's the latest news due to the events on mars the corporation introduced a global embargo against aerospace but the sector remains calm sir a long sword class heavy corvette arrived at osec the rockets won the spring championship on earth that's all i see can you link me up with Colonel Finn? I'm requesting an encoded channel. Of course, sir. One moment, please. This makes me think of Red Dwarf. I mean, the Millier is more, you know, the, the, the setting similar in scope to Star Hunter 2300. And I don't mean Star Hunter Redux. I don't really like that version of it. But, uh, I mean, yeah, especially not with the episode of the first season that it started with. But, uh... This makes me think like Red Dwarf, if Red Dwarf were serious and didn't just have like the colony leader from LV-426 farting around and making everyone hate him. Uh, uh, you know, for this the first is episode. Colonel Finn. Greetings, Cromwell. I'm glad you made it here in one piece. We've been expecting you. It, it feels like this is actually more like some other show that I haven't seen yet, but that I want to see. Like this is like... I wish there were a TV show like this, where it's that. All right, so I guess we're done, and we succeeded to manage to not destroy my own ship on the mines. 
All right, time to uh, edit and upload and get all the downvotes from not being as entertaining as possible. Anyway, take care everyone and try not to go crazy.